Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I shall be revisiting the topic of how to clean your grain father. Some new methods and ideas have certainly now been adopted by the community and I wish to share those in this video with everyone. And of course this is particularly useful for anyone new to the scene but this applies to existing owners also. Unlike many methods of brewing, Actually cleaning your grain father is fast and easy and you should do it after every brew. There are various choices of cleaner that you can use, especially if you live in a nation where the official cleaner is not available. Regular cleaning will certainly stop deposit build up on your system and will prolong the life of the equipment. I always start off by washing out the system with just hot water. And then I leave a bit of water in the bottom here and I use a scouring pad just to give that bottom plate a bit of early attention before I actually start using any cleaning agents at all. I then empty this water and you can see from the end result of just doing this that visibly it looks pretty clean but we're also looking to clean what we can't see also. So the next step here is to add the cleaning agent. I don't really have any big preference cleaning agent wise, but I always tend to add about 7.5 litres of water to the cleaning agent for this step of the process. The next step would be to heat your grain father to 55 degrees C or 131 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I do while I'm waiting for this solution to actually heat up is I remove this part which is at the top of the recirculation pipe and in here you've got a spring and a ball so be careful of those they can jump out and what I do is I actually give these a good blast out with a hose before reattaching them ready for the full cleaning process. So you can see that I'm at the right temperature here and what I've also done here is I've connected the recirculation arm that you use for mashing directly to the counterflow chiller and I've also put a clip between the two just to make sure that we've got a good connection. At this point you would now start your pump and you would let this run for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once this is done then simply empty everything out, refill with just fresh normal water and do the same thing again. So both cycles are where you heat to 55 degrees C and you run between 15 and 20 minutes. One is with the cleaner and the last one is just with water, just to rinse everything out nicely. What I like to do while these cycles are in progress is I like to give the rest of the grain father um, in terms of the exterior further cleaning. And I generally use a, a microfiber cloth for this, which I've given uh, a little bit of damping with some fresh, clean water. And I find this brings up the system to look, you know, almost brand new again. And, you know, we, we want to make sure we look after our equipment because it will last longer and it will look nicer. Before storing the grain father away for ready for the next brew, what I also do is I give the inside um, of the grain father a good drying, again with a microfiber type of cloth. The other thing to take care of before you store your grain father is to actually blow out all of the excess water from your counterflow chiller. Personally, I use a bicycle pump to do this and find it to be very easy, but of course there are other methods that work too. This whole process doesn't take particularly long, but the end results speak for themselves and you can brew your next beer with confidence that everything's nice and clean. So there you have it, you're now up to date on the latest improved instructions for grain father cleaning. I hope you found this both interesting and useful. 
So if you did like this video, then please do go ahead and like it on YouTube. This really helps me out and allows the videos to be seen by a wider audience on YouTube. I've got a lot of videos in the pipeline for the future, so if you're interested in uh, seeing what I've got coming up, then please subscribe for future content. If you have any questions on anything that I've covered in this video or in others, or anything to do with brewing in general, then please do not hesitate to get in touch. I'm more than happy to help. Until then, happy brewing!